Hi everybody, Steve from Martell Training Group here. Just uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about Sora. Uh, our company offers Sora training. It's for New Jersey security officers. It stands for uh, Security Officer Registration Act. And if you want to work uh, for a licensed security company in New Jersey, uh, then you need to be Sora certified. And I have up here our website um, just wanted to do a quick, you know, brief uh, video about what Sora is and how to go about getting certified. So I we'll have our website up here, uh, MartellTrainingGroup.com, and you know, if you go to the website, it will uh, you'll see you can uh, learn about what Sora is. Uh, but basically, it is um, uh, the state in New Jersey. Uh, passed the, the SORA Act or Security Officer Registration Act and it basically streamlines uh, mandates training for licensed security officers and there are certain topics that are that are discussed and there are certain uh, number of hours that you need to receive training uh, and you have to pass a test of course so and you have to go through a process a background process so if you go to our website, you will see, um, and the training is different, slightly different for if you've never had Sora before. So initially, if you've never had Sora and you're taking it for the first time, it's a 24 hour classroom instruction that's required. And on our website, we have this, we have initial first time New Jersey Sora or renewal New Jersey Sora, uh, which is only eight hours. So if you click here on the initial, it'll take you through this uh, uh, page on our website, which talks about the initial first time Sora. So it's, it's basically a three-step process. You register with the New Jersey State Police. Uh, you also have to get fingerprinted and then you register for a class uh, and you can do that with us. Uh, so we do have a link here on our website to the New Jersey State Police. So just so you're aware, uh, there are fees uh, at the New Jersey State Police website. When you register, it's about $75. It takes about 10 minutes. Uh, they recommend you use a computer and not a smartphone or tablet. So if you click here to register, it will take you to the New Jersey State Police Sora database. And you can see here, uh, if you already have a Sora certification, you would click here for a returning applicant. And that would bring you to uh, the login screen, which you should already have login information. Uh, and then you basically renew your application. Now, if you were uh, first time, you would click first time, obviously. And then you go through the process here. Now, initially it will ask you, is this for unarmed Sora or is this for armed Sora? And there are other things here like owner of an agency, co-owner, bounty hunter. Uh, but we're just talking about Sora here. Uh, real quick about unarmed and armed, as far as the application process, the only difference is that unarmed SORA is good for two years versus armed SORA certification, which is only good for one year. Now, I will, I will say that uh, a lot of people ask this question, you know, if I take the armed SORA class, that means I can carry a weapon, right? And the answer to that is no. In addition to this, you also need a permit to carry a firearm in the state of New Jersey. This uh, certification alone does not authorize you to carry a firearm. So we get into that pretty heavily in the training. Uh, but if you know you're going to work for a company that is going to require you carry a firearm, then what you have to do is when you get to this point, you, you select armed security officer and it will still take you through the process, same as if it were if it were a, you know unarmed process. Uh, and um, but in addition to this, you also need to be applying to either your local police or through the state police. If you live in a state police patrolled area, you need to apply for a permit to carry a firearm, and they will conduct that agency will conduct a background and then your whole application packet gets forwarded to a superior court judge and that judge will decide whether or not you can carry a firearm and it will be, uh, of course, only during working conditions. So uh, these permits to carry firearms are very difficult to get 
in the state of New Jersey. Uh, if you're um, if you're if you're not retired law enforcement, um, they're very difficult to get. However, we're talking about SORA here. We're talking about working as a security officer. Uh, what usually happens is you get a letter from the company that you're planning on working for, or maybe you've already been hired by that company. They provide a letter saying they intend to employ you and use you as an armed uh, officer. That letter will get submitted with your packet to the state police or to the local police, and they will conduct a background. Uh, in addition to that, you have to have a firearm safety course uh, as well, and proof of that submitted. That all gets forwarded to a superior court judge, and that judge will decide whether or not to issue the, the uh, permit to carry. And when it is issued, if it is issued, it will have restrictions. Uh, for example, you can only uh, carry the weapon during working hours. So that means you can't, you know, keep it on when you go to the movies after work. You can't stop a Wawa on your way in and, you know, uh, it's just during working uh, hours. So that'll be, that'll have, uh, you know, limitations or uh, restrictions. Uh, placed on it. So uh, back to the process here. So once you register with the state police, which is a fee, there's a fee involved. Um, they will provide you with a link to schedule your fingerprinting. That is also done through another uh, company, a third party company. They have locations all over the state. So you pick a location close to where you live or you work. And there's a fee involved with that as well. You schedule fingerprinting. And then the third step would be to register for a class. Now, I will say you have to do all of this within 30 days. So you have to register with the state police, you have to schedule and get your fingerprinting, and you have to complete your training all within 30 days. So um, the fingerprinting can be done before or after uh, training, but it has to be done within 30 days. So what happens is if you register with the state police, you schedule your fingerprinting, and then you don't complete your training till you know 40 days, for example, or two months, what happens is you have to start the process over again. Now there are exceptions where you can get an extension if it's you know through work or whatever, what you know, whatever the case may be, but the state police would have to agree to allow you to you know attend training or continue with the process after the 30 days. If not, you have to repeat the whole process over again, which means going back to the state police, paying another fee, scheduling the, the prints if you didn't get them, and then uh, have attending another training class within the 30 days. So uh, now the last thing I wanted to, to just mention is right now we're doing virtual training. So because of COVID, we are gonna offer in-person training as well, but right now it's just virtual. Uh, so just a quick note about virtual training and there's all this information on our website. You, it's gonna be via Zoom. You can uh, test your connection by clicking here. Uh, you do need a good internet connection and you have to be connected the whole time. And you see here, you have to be present during the entire class. I know that seems obvious, uh, but the state police conduct compliance checks. So what they'll do is they have access to all our Zoom classes and all our in-person classes. They just show up. So they'll just show up uh, virtually or in person. And if they see someone's either not in class or not in front of the camera or sleeping, um, then they will make you take the class again. And you will have to pay another fee to register for another class and do the process all over again. So I just wanted to uh, make a note of that. It's not something that you can just, you know, set up on your computer and have it run and then walk away and, you know, get some errands done or, you know, grab something, whatever. You know, you have to be present during the entire class. And there w there are breaks, you know, you get breaks, you get, you know, but you, you for, the, for the entirety of the class, you have to be present. We do have uh, some frequently asked questions on the website as well. If you uh, if you have some more questions, uh, you know the difference between armed and unarmed. I kind of went through that already. Uh, requirements: you have to be 18 years old. You have to have valid ID. So th these are uh, on our website. These questions: how long? Well, again, it's a three-step process: 24-hour training for initial and eight-hour for renewal. 
Uh, and then here are some topics that are discussed. You can see what topics are discussed during the class. Uh, some of them are listed there. Uh, and then a little bit about the, the virtual training. Uh, so that's pretty much it for, for this, this initial sort of video. I just wanted to, uh, you know, to, to talk about SOAR a little bit there on our website. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at martelltraining.com. Uh, and I will provide a link to our website and, uh, email address. Thanks guys. Take care.